In the heart of rural America, nestled between thick woods and winding roads, lay the forgotten tale of an old ghost lady. Her name was said to be Eleanor, a once vibrant soul who met her tragic end on a desolate stretch of highway. Five years had passed since the night she was struck down by an unknown driver who fled the scene, leaving her broken body to fade into the shadows of the night. Eleanor's spirit, tormented by the injustice of her untimely demise, wandered the very road where her life had been snuffed out. Some claimed to have seen her apparition, a ghostly figure draped in tattered garments, haunting the lonely travelers who dared to tread upon her domain. As rumors of the old ghost lady spread, tales of her vengeance grew more chilling with each passing year. It was said that she roamed the night, searching for the driver who had ended her life, mistaking any unfortunate soul who crossed her path for the one responsible for her suffering. Among those who had heard the legends was a young man named Jack, a weary traveler whose journey led him down the same fateful road where Eleanor met her end. Unbeknownst to him, his encounter with the old ghost lady would soon become a tale of terror that would haunt him for the rest of his days. The moon hung low in the sky as Jack's car rumbled down the deserted highway, its headlights cutting through the darkness like a beacon of hope in the night. He had been driving for hours, the monotony of the road lulling him into a daze as he pressed onward toward his destination. As Jack rounded a bend in the road, he caught a glimpse of something out of the corner of his eye. A shadowy figure standing at the edge of the forest, its form barely discernible in the dim light. A chill ran down his spine as he slowed the car to a crawl, his heart pounding in his chest. For a moment, Jack hesitated, his mind racing with thoughts of the old ghost lady and the tales of her spectral presence that haunted these woods. But curiosity got the better of him, and with a shaky breath, he rolled down the window and called out into the night. Hello? Is someone there? There was no response, only the eerie silence of the forest and the distant hum of his engine. Jack's hand trembled as he reached for the door handle, stealing himself for what lay ahead. Stepping out of the car, Jack felt a wave of unease wash over him as he approached the figure shrouded in darkness. As he drew closer, he could make out the outline of a woman, her features twisted in anguish as if trapped between the worlds of the living and the dead. Are you all right? Jack asked, his voice barely above a whisper. The figure turned to face him, and Jack recoiled in horror at the sight before him. It was the old ghost lady, her eyes hollow and empty as they bore into his soul. In that moment, Jack knew he had made a grave mistake. The old ghost lady mistook him for the one who had taken her life, and now she sought her revenge. Jack's heart pounded in his chest as he stumbled backward, his mind reeling with fear and disbelief. He had heard the stories of the old ghost lady, but never did he imagine he would come face to face with her on this lonely stretch of road. The old ghost lady advanced toward him, her ethereal form flickering in the moonlight as she reached out with spectral hands. Jack's instincts screamed at him to flee, but he found himself rooted to the spot paralyzed by the sheer terror of the moment. Please, he pleaded, his voice trembling. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm not the one you're looking for. But the old ghost lady paid no heed to his words, her ghostly wails echoing through the night as she closed in on her unwitting prey. Jack could feel her icy touch upon his skin, sending shivers down his spine as he braced himself for the inevitable. Just as it seemed all hope was lost, a sudden burst of headlights illuminated the road, casting a blinding glare upon the scene. With a shriek of anguish, the old ghost lady recoiled, fading back into the darkness from whence she came. Jack blinked in disbelief as he shielded his eyes from the glare, 
the sound of screeching tires filling the air as a car swerved to a stop beside him. A concerned voice called out to him from within, its owner obscured by the glare of the headlights. Hey, are you okay? What happened? Jack stumbled toward the car, his legs weak with relief as he collapsed into the passenger seat. He glanced back at the spot where the old ghost lady had stood only moments before, but there was no sign of her presence save for the lingering chill in the air. As the car pulled away, Jack couldn't shake the feeling that he had narrowly escaped a fate worse than death. The old ghost lady may have mistaken him for her tormentor, but he vowed never to return to that accursed road again. Little did he know, the memory of that fateful encounter would haunt him for the rest of his days, a chilling reminder of the horrors that lurked in the darkness of the night. The car sped along the winding road, leaving the horrors of the night behind in its wake. Jack sat in silence, his mind still reeling from the encounter with the old ghost lady. He couldn't shake the feeling of her icy touch upon his skin, nor the sound of her anguished wails echoing in his ears. As they drove on, Jack's thoughts turned to the events that led him to that forsaken stretch of highway. He had been on his way to visit family, eager to put the troubles of his past behind him and start anew. But now, all thoughts of a fresh start were overshadowed by the specter of the old ghost lady haunting him at every turn. The driver glanced at Jack with concern, sensing the turmoil that churned within him. You seem shaken up, he remarked, his voice soft with sympathy. Jack nodded, unable to find the words to convey the terror he had just experienced. How could he explain the unexplainable, the encounter with a vengeful spirit hellbent on revenge? It's, it's nothing. Jack replied, forcing a weak smile. Just a trick of the mind, I suppose. But deep down, he knew it was more than just a trick of the mind. The old ghost lady was real, and she would stop at nothing to exact her vengeance upon those she deemed responsible for her suffering. As the car pulled into town, Jack breathed a sigh of relief. Grateful to be far away from the haunted highway, that had nearly become his final resting place. But even as he stepped out onto solid ground, he couldn't shake the feeling that the old ghost lady's presence still lingered, watching and waiting for the opportunity to strike once more. With a shiver, Jack hurried on his way, vowing to put the horrors of the night behind him and never look back. Little did he know, the old ghost lady would forever haunt his dreams a reminder of the thin veil that separated the world of the living from the realm of the dead. And so, as the night closed in around him, Jack walked alone into the darkness, knowing that some horrors were too terrifying to ever truly escape. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but Jack could never shake the memory of his encounter with the old ghost lady. The image of her spectral form haunted his dreams, her hollow eyes staring into his soul with accusing intensity. Try as he might to convince himself that it was all just a figment of his imagination, Jack couldn't deny the palpable sense of unease that settled over him like a shroud. Every shadow seemed to conceal the lurking presence of the old ghost lady, and every whisper of the wind carried her mournful wails. Despite his best efforts to move on with his life, Jack found himself consumed by paranoia, constantly looking over his shoulder for fear that the old ghost lady would return to claim him once more. His friends and family grew concerned for his well-being, but no amount of reassurance could ease the torment that gnawed at his soul. Desperate for answers, Jack sought out those who had encountered the old ghost lady before him hoping to find some shred of truth amidst the sea of superstition and folklore. But the tales he heard only served to deepen his dread, each one more chilling than the last. Some claimed to have seen the old ghost lady lurking in the shadows, her ethereal form beckoning them into the darkness with icy fingers. 
Others spoke of her vengeful wrath, recounting tales of those who had crossed her path and met a fate worse than death. But amidst the fear and uncertainty, one thing remained clear. The old ghost lady was real, and she would not rest until she had exacted her revenge upon those who had wronged her. Haunted by the specter of his past, Jack knew that he could never truly escape the clutches of the old ghost lady. No matter how far he ran or how hard he tried to forget, her memory would forever linger in the recesses of his mind, a chilling reminder of the horrors that lurked in the darkness of the night. And so, as the years passed and the tale of the old ghost lady faded into legend, Jack remained forever haunted by the encounter that had changed his life forever. For some horrors were too terrifying to ever truly be forgotten, their presence lingering long after the echoes of the night had faded into silence. Despite his efforts to move on, Jack found himself drawn back to the scene of his encounter with the old ghost lady. It was as if some unseen force compelled him to confront the demons that lurked within the shadows of that desolate highway. With a sense of trepidation gnawing at his insides, Jack returned to the place where it all began, the memory of that fateful night burning brightly in his mind's eye. The air was heavy with the weight of the past, each step forward a battle against the specter of his own fear. As he stood upon the spot where he had encountered the old ghost lady, Jack felt a chill run down his spine, the hairs on the back of his neck standing on end. He closed his eyes and took a deep breath, steeling himself for whatever horrors awaited him in the darkness. But to his surprise, there was no sign of the old ghost lady, no trace of her presence save for the lingering sense of unease that hung in the air like a thick fog. It was as if she had vanished into thin air, leaving behind nothing but a trail of unanswered questions and unresolved fears. With a heavy heart, Jack turned to leave, his mind filled with doubt and uncertainty. Had it all been nothing more than a trick of the mind, a figment of his imagination brought on by exhaustion and fear, or was there something more sinister at play, something beyond the realm of human understanding? As he made his way back to his car, Jack couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. The sensation of eyes boring into his soul from the shadows that danced at the edge of his vision. But when he turned to look, there was nothing there, only the empty expanse of the night stretching out before him. With a shiver, Jack climbed into his car and closed the door, the soft click of the lock echoing in the stillness of the night. He glanced into the rearview mirror, adjusting it to get a better view of the road behind him and that's when he saw her. The old ghost lady was sitting in the back seat of his car, her eyes fixed upon him with a haunting intensity that sent a shiver down his spine. Jack's breath caught in his throat as he stared at her reflection, unable to tear his eyes away from the spectral figure that had materialized before him. In that moment, Jack knew that he was not alone that the old ghost lady had followed him back from the depths of the night to exact her revenge upon him. With trembling hands, he reached for the door handle, his heart pounding in his chest as he prepared to flee from the nightmare that had become his reality. But before he could make his escape, the old ghost lady spoke, her voice a whisper on the edge of his consciousness. You cannot run from me, Jack, she said, her words echoing in the confines of the car. You may try to forget, but the past cannot be erased. I will always be with you, haunting your every step until the end of days. And with that, the old ghost lady vanished into thin air, leaving Jack alone in the darkness of the night. Trembling with fear and disbelief, he knew that he could never truly escape the clutches of the old ghost lady that her memory would forever haunt him until the end of his days. With a heavy heart, Jack started the car and drove away, leaving behind the haunted highway and the horrors that lurked within its shadows. But deep down, 
He knew that the old ghost lady would always be with him, a constant reminder of the sins of his past and the specter of his own mortality. And as he disappeared into the night, Jack vowed to never forget the price of his encounter with the old ghost lady, for some nightmares were too terrifying to ever truly be forgotten.